in the universe. And once upon a time, they were caught sleeping by the riverside. from a kind of a different direction. I want you all to consider the prostitute that came in the door and washed Christ's feet with her hair and perfumed it with, with her hair. 
Back then there was no contraceptives. The Bible says that there is nothing new under the sun. That means that abortion has been happening since the beginning of time. Now, she's a prostitute and that's the way she made her living. So I'm assuming, I'm taking a little liberty here, but I'm assuming she probably got pregnant quite a few times. And she probably had ways of killing it, like sticks and smashing her belly with rocks and other things like that, and herbs. And Jesus forgave her. Jesus did not show her a jar with a fetus in it. Jesus did not scream murder in her face. He did not say, I am better than you because I am your savior. He didn't even say that he was better than her because he was her savior. What right do you have? What right do you have? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You were supposed to approach those people with love and compassion. You were supposed to take those people out of your house. Whoopi Goldberg made a statement a long time ago and everybody criticized her for it, including me. I thought she was a complete idiot for saying it. But he said, hey, if you're so in support of adoption, then how come you're not adopting all the babies? Everybody laughed it off. Oh, she's just a approach. I just approach with women, whatever, you know. They just blew it off. Well, what about that? What about adopting kids? There's probably adopted people in this room, possibly even waited. There you go, man. That kid was adopted. That kid was adopted. That is awesome. That kid back there was adopted. There's like hands going up everywhere, you know? What about those kids? These guys are your friends. You might not even have known that they were adopted. What if they had to grow up half their lives in foster homes or they didn't even know the people? You switched. I mean, I know a kid back home who, from the age of 10 to 14, he went through 16 foster homes. And they want to know why he's doing drugs. They want to know why he's raping girls. Where is Christ's heart? Christ's heart was sacrificial. Christ's heart was uncomfortable. Where are you? Where are you? Some of you aren't old enough to adopt kids yet, whatever, you know, you're probably like all under 18 or whatever. Think about that, you know? There's so many kids. There's so many kids, you know? It's like if we want to stand against abortion so badly, you know, do more than just talk about adoption. You know? I don't know, that's it. The song is called Union for Change. And Christ would not have shot a doctor. Christ would not have bombed a clinic. Whatever, army of God. What is that? Army of God.